All right, welcome back to Inkbound. Difficulty level five has been absolutely backbreaking. So I think in this game in general, you have to build pretty offensively oriented. You have to focus on killing your enemy before, like mitigating damage is not a valid tactic because there's a bunch of debuffs, a bunch of curses. Enemies have like more damage and stuff like that. So you got to burst them down. And the last run, I learned that the hard way. Anyway, so let's get started. I'll have you know that I'm quite aware you had some hand in the sudden appearance of that cabinet of trinkets. And I do not condone any action done expressly without the Inkbound's approval. That being said, the construction of that cabinet is solid, and additional storage for those trinkets is welcome. So I've collected what other trinkets I could from the Athenium's fall and placed them in there for your use. Do not abuse them needless. All right, so I'm going to change the trinket as well because we have um, some issues with the early game. Definitely more important to find something that helps you early game. Although this is probably a good middle ground and probably is the best for this specific unit. So I think I might just take it. Probably will. And I'm really interested in this where what happens if you have the same amount of usage on physical bindings as magic bindings, you get both. That would make this absolutely absurd on this character, so we're gonna try it out. Because every binding in this character's arsenal is both. Now the problem is once you start adding, you know, a few of these into the mix, like the two extra spells into the mix, it's kind of About weird. Am I saying the market can fade for all I care? I just wanna make something clear. I got no hard feelings for this place or for saving these stories. Matter of fact, I want them all to keep on going. But that radiant market, nothing left there but pain and grief. Losing someone can be awful hard. Hollows you out until you're just an empty shell. And losing Frida, well, if you ask me, even though you didn't, <laughs> what's the point in remembering the hurt? If that hurt is trying to be forgot all on its own, best let fading hurt fade. Ho oh, ho! Still after those vile villains, I gather? Well, I've never seen a more determined needless than you. It really is a shame that they return with such ease, though. No matter. Ho oh, ho! If it's a fight of attrition thereafter, I'll put my quillings on you every time. Stay strong, needless. We're all counting on you. Yeah, I definitely have to stay strong because this shit is hard as hell. So, how you liking the new cabinet of trinkets, Needless? Suiting your needs okay? Gotta say, it was no easy task lugging that up from the ink unnoticed. <laughs> Carver can't move merch without a little help, right? And who better to do so with a little discretion than the silent singer himself? Ugh, I mean me. Trying out new nicknames, but that one felt weird as soon as I started saying it out loud. Seriously, silent singer? Who the ink do I think I am? But you're, uh, not gonna mention that to anyone, right? Needless? Well, right? I can't speak, so... <laughs> can't mention anything? Anyways, alright, let's get started. This difficulty... Yeah, anytime you buff bosses, which I think are the hardest... Yeah, villains and guardians have plus 20 attack. It's it's so brutal. Uh, you definitely have to burst them down. The stalling possibilities are definitely more limited. All right, let's go with Cinder again, since that was the boss I was or originally targeting. This way. Oh, hello there, Needless. Glad to see it's just you. Is it me, or has this uh, 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 tactical training made you move around even more quietly than before? Never was much of a combat-oriented binder myself. Preferred to work on bindings that made new life rather than take it away. Though I suppose such are the times we're in. Still, assuming your quill has had the power to keep them up, those bindings of yours are incredibly powerful tools. Made these entire worlds, in fact. Well, more or less. All right. Definitely gonna pick according to the curse because some of the that last curse was pretty brutal. This is impossible. On your turn, minus 30 movement, again 30 movement the first time an enemy is defeated. Doable. 
it's it's doable it's hard this is the easiest for sure yeah yeah we go with the bomb i feel like they should give you a bigger reward than they currently do for taking harder curses because it's almost never worth it and those curses some of them are extremely difficult especially early game I don't like this. I feel like they should also they should also kind of change things that affect you and your allies, so like co-op spells, so they have like an alternative when you're solo. So like this should just give me two shield basically, or like double the effects. Because otherwise it's just kind of weird. Like this spell is kind of this upgrade's kind of bad. Uh, I mean it's not horrible, but no, it's it's pretty horrible actually. All right, increase runic. So it starts physical, right? It does. So this is more interesting than this. With 10 poison to colliding enemies. No. Let's take that. Your first turn, 50 movement. Less movement, more physical damage. Yield on turn 1. Yield on turn 1 is always interesting because I feel like you're less likely to take damage on turn 1. Most enemies do not attack you directly. I think I'll take this. Actually, I don't. I don't like this too much. But I don't like any of this. But to me, this all feels bad, so... What I don't like about this is that... I don't have only physical damage. In fact, it's mostly magic, so... You know what? I'll take the bells. At least it's going to give me one shield per turn. Ooh, a fish is huge. 35 physical damage, right? So yeah, this character is a combo-oriented character, if you don't know. So I use the basic spell, Runic Strike, to gain combo. At three combo, I gain one, uh, well, at three, three combo stacks, or at three Martial Master stacks, I gain one combo. One combo reduces the cooldown and mana cost of the next blessing I use by one. And I can keep stacking combo if I want to with Runic Strike, but that's the gimmick. And then this character has magic and physical damage on every binding. And this one alternates between physical and then magical. started here so hitting that wait i take zero from that so killing this at the same time as other enemies does not let me check that okay it actually oh no it do... it's just that i had shield on turn one okay so i could ignore that that's huge and slightly too low damage again that's kind of unfortunate yeah, the problem with alterna alternating damage and buffing one of those sides is that one of them is going to be weaker. And that is very awkward. So I took this last time. It was fine. In fact, it was good. But I think I'm going to play more aggressively, so Dazed is looking a little bit better. You would never take Pilfer, I think, in difficulty 5. It's just way too hard. Let's go with Dazed. It's an offensive-defensive spell, basically. Sure, this sounds good. And it's a Mythos set, which is the set we need for the quest, so might as well. And I think Shocked is very good with this character. And definitely necessary, because I did not realize this, but this character has very low AoE damage. Um, or consistently low. It, it's like, sometimes you can get some AoE damage in, but the, cooldown is hard, the cooldown's high, and the mana cost is high, so it's kind of hard to get in. And Shocked would help. So I think we're just taking that. Shrine. On your turn, if your Omni damage is zero, gain one will. I mean, we have zero, so... What's this again? Bindings that do not deal damage have base cooldown reduced. That is useless, so... Am I... Potentially destroying something? No. Let's go. Let's go binding here. Potion, not very good. But again, offense, offense, offense. Bleed is good. Sap is very good. And I've come to appreciate Sap a lot more, and I think it's actually really good on an AoE spell, potentially, to regain a bunch of HP. I thought it'd be better on a single target spell, but there are, there are enemies that spawn a lot of enemies, so it's kind of hard. When used with combo, 50 extra physical damage. Not great. And then the fusion is very good, so... Well, it's one shield every two uses, which is kind of 
mediocre. Cost discount is actually quite good because it allows me to get one more runic strike in, which gets me closer to combo. So hmm. I'm going to go with the bomb. Let's go Volt, I think, early. I'm still unsure what to prioritize, but I think uncommon augments are generally pretty bad. So I don't value uncommons that much. Rares I do a, lot, a little bit more. And this, uh, this character has very high mana usage, so getting the cost reduction is pretty big. All of them, that's nice. Wait, I have extra mana? Oh yeah, I have the... That's huge, actually. That's massive. You can collide. Or... Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, we got the scale. It's telling me how many... Oh yeah, because this is physical. Uh, well, I guess we're always getting magical, which is good. That's what we want. That's actually perfect. I can tutor this to give me magic damage at the end of combat. Alright, I'm definitely going to knock it, but I think I'm going to do this first, then grab, and knock. So yeah, this knock spell, when they collide, when the enemy collides with something, it deals physical damage. Initial hit is magic though, which is kind of awkward sometimes. I will be able to get a combo stack, but I think it's just better to do this. Very solid, very solid. Not much else I can do here. Cooldown's a little bit too high. But I have good um, good ways of getting back my HP thanks to the sap. I should probably do a double combo here. Or no, I need to... No, I would need to hit twice. It's probably just this then. Sap is really good. It definitely helps you get topped up. 2 HP if I kill the enemy until end of turn, basically. Until end of turn. He's pretty clutch. And the extra mana is incredibly clutch, actually. Probably get a sap proc at least once. Well, I guess I can guarantee it here. What's the physical side? How do I know which which side it's gonna be? Is this the physical side? Oh yeah, no, it shows me. Okay, I was wondering if it actually shows me or not. Wait, which side applies sap? Oh no, I didn't get it. I didn't take it. That's oh, only this then. Yield walk. Okay, we, we made that mistake last time. I'm not going to make it this time. I think cleave is very powerful. Bleed is an incredibly strong debuff. Although it is a little bit weird since we are stacking magic damage mostly, but... Mm. Yeah, I think it's really good. Heavenly Eclipse. On using Magic Binding one stack- Oh, this is amazing. This is possibly- Okay, there are some broken vestiges with this uh, character. When gaining combo, gain 40 Omni damage until an attack binding is used. Eh. I mean, this is insane. Like, actually busted. Dusk and Dawn is uh, plus 20%, I think. Guess we'll find out soon. 
Whoops. I think it was 20, I don't remember. Um, mark on furthest enemy is good. I might as well take a double anyways. There's no reason to take these. Destroying... I wouldn't hate destroying this, but it doesn't contribute that much. This is a problem. Like, the Starwalker doesn't do anything for me. Destroying this is good, I think, but I need two Mythos for the set, so also not very good. What could I destroy, realistically? It would only be this. But that's not that worth it. There's nothing for me to destroy, so I might as well just go Binding then. Well, only the Shield. The Shield is fine, I guess, but... Okay, this is busted. What? Shield and cleave is good too. But this is insane. Wait, wasn't that, didn't I get something that inflicted shatter? Oh no, that was the relic. Okay, this is nonsense. That is so good for for a blue. I guess no blues are good. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go here for glyph globule. Alright, now that I have an offensive build, it's much better. I think Smoke Bomb is pretty high value. Another blazing setup. Okay, I definitely like this character more on an offensive build than defensive. But I think all characters work the same in that regard. Wait, this Sundering Runic Strike is actually critical to this character functioning, I think. Because both every binding, well, every main binding does magic and physical, that means you're Amplifying damage by so much. Actually, no, it's not true, because if it was just physical or just magical, another character could use that debuff better, so eh, actually it's not. But it, no, it is critical for this character, but it's not like it's better than on other characters. Okay. Yeah, other characters use that debuff better, because they only have usually only have one type of damage type. Critting stack of blur. I've never actually gotten to use Blur. Bleed damage on inflicting bleed, inflict toxic, on inflicting poison, inflict hemorrhage. Mm, nah. I do not like this. Uh, combat and restore four, and this vestige gains one max HP. I'm down for this. Extra crit chance is nice. Critting Inflict Poison, that is quite interesting, but we have no other poison stacking. And this is very strong. Right, I'm going to destroy. I need to get value out of the destroy effect here. And we have to go here anyways. Wedged within the ruins of the Vestigial Shrine lies a single story fragment of this world. An intangible thing, only obtainable by Quill, but crucial in the anchoring and survival of this story. A left-behind relic of this shrine's original purpose, the story fragment is the last remaining piece keeping this story tethered to the Athenian. Once a foregone conclusion, now a rare occurrence. I'm probably just going to get rid of the um, the dazed probably eh, I don't know. Actually, I don't hate getting rid of this. I want the shock so bad, but the extra we don't have omni damage, right? So this is still just plus one will, which is nice. This is probably.
Yeah, this is probably the most valuable destruction here because I get 10% damage res and we're working towards cur curios, which is pretty good. I think the blur stuff is very good. I don't really care about that too much. I think destroying this is a mistake. Uh, I wouldn't mind destroying this, but again, I need Mythos, so I could destroy the belt, but... Hmm. No, let me see this. You place your hand upon the podium, and your quill begins to pulse. In your hand appears a torn page with fading ink. A story fragment, now yours. Our story fragment. Cool. Uncommon augment. I don't know, I don't value that too much, but it's still worth one. And we get a blue. After hitting three enemies, the next runic strike has one cost discount. Sure. That sounds good. Winning combat within five turns, store six in this vestige gains. 10 Omni damage. Hmm. It's also Curios. I could destroy it and get Curios. Oh, I think I understand how this works. Does that mean I have to hold these and then at the end of combat I gain this second trait basically? Inflicting poison and flick days. Whoa. This is nonsense. On your turn, if you took no HP damage the previous turn, gain critical charge on all by Whoa. But oh, we're gonna take HP damage 100 percent I'm interested in this, and I'm gonna test out I'll buy it just to test out the Curios um, set buff. I wanna see how it works. Because I'm pretty sure if my guess is correct, this does not work with uh, without any vestiges that have curio. All right, good turn one. That's a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, this character feels really good when you're in your. Getting a bunch of damage increase. We got, yeah, Dusk is 20%. Where's Dawn? Dawn is 20%. Yep, this is kind of cracked. My damage ramp up is insane with this character right now. This is how it's intended to be played. For sure. So much movement. Damn, it's so close to popping. Oh, zero. Nice. Wow. This character's cracked if you go damage route. Definitely have to hone in on, like... That's the one thing I learned, right? On, on this difficulty, you have to go damage. That's 100%. Always happening. I need the physical amp here. I just push it out, probably. If I can get out of the zone. I like the displacement effects. Pretty nice. Just punch him in the face. A, this is this character is awesome. I love it. Ooh, serrated sweep. Fifteen bleed sacks. It's kind of crazy. Attack three times for three ten. A single enemy attacks inflict. Whoa, this is insane nuke. I mean, okay, are we fine AOE damage right now? I think we're fine single target. But inflicting bleed stacks on a bunch of enemies is not that good. Yeah, I. We're fighting the. Okay, we're fighting the bird. 
I don't know. This is fine, but it's just low, low damage. So I would have to leave them alive, which is not good. I'm just going to go for the burst. Minus one will cost. Are we having will cost problems? Or do we just want damage? 100 damage. So this is 100 damage for zero mana. This will be... I don't know if we have will cost problems. I mean, kind of. It's always nice to have extra cost reduction, so... You can't say I hate it. I don't think I want to reduce the cost for this, because I want to one-shot with the sap. So it could be discounted cleave. But it has a higher cooldown, so it's kind of like less value. I'm just going to take the damage, screw it. It's the most consistent. Oh, will cost on this is probably okay as well. Alright, we get some value here. I'm going to test this out. So now we have the curios. And I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't think it I don't think it will, but you never know. You never know. I'm just gonna destroy this, so I'll just get the extra shield. Oh wait, I have to take two of these, I forgot. Collecting an orb, take one damage. Um It's not that bad. I guess. It's not that bad. I think this is pretty rough. Eh, let's take the orb. Have some healing. Maybe get some shielding at some point. Rare augment times two is huge, I think. Yeah. Fish is big. Yep. Damn. So nope. Don't even remember. Oh yeah, that's the one that reduces cooldown. That's marked. Could just kill it. Well, I have the mana to kill this, though. Yeah, probably. Just heal back up here. Awkward. Definitely gonna move this guy out of the blight because I don't want to get in there. Wait, what? Shielding actually mitigates the orb damage. That's pretty clutch. It's marked, so I should take advantage of that to kill it with a bigger spell. Oh shit, I can't move. Whoops. I guess I can gain the life back, it's fine. Did it work? Did I have a bunch of... Wait, piles? Why did I get piles? Oh, it's the Curios Blessing. Oh yeah, so now... Wait, what? He gave me plus one Curios? Yeah, so it, I think it does work the way I... The way I thought it did. Yeah. So it's just gonna give me this until I find... Yeah, okay, I see. Makes sense. I just want to confirm that. On defeating an enemy for more than double their max HP, gain 
50 physical damage to end of combat. We got physical damage, we got treasure pot defeated, we got marked. Collecting an orb gained 50 magic damage. Eh. Let's take trophy up. I might just destroy it. Not great. This is redundant. Kinda. It's also kinda good though. But destroying this doesn't do that much either. I mean, both. Destroying this doesn't do that much either, either. Either, either, either. Orb Lord is good in general. And Enchanted is also good in general, so destroying this has more value. I don't think I'm going to be defeating enemies for double their max HP. But who knows, I don't know, maybe... Shielding is pretty clutch. I can't argue with that. I'll just take it. I need some defense. Some more defense. Ooh, shatter. Oh, wait, we already have shatter. Oh, I have to shatter first and then do this. Yeah, true. Days we don't need. When used with combo, deal 15. Yeah, I don't like this. I, I do not like this. I don't like any of this. Shatter is guaranteed, so not even worth taking, so I don't like any of this. But this is not terrible. Uh, it is terrible. 50 damage, trash. This is an embarrassingly bad upgrade, I think. It should just be flat 50. With no downside. In fact, it should be like 50 physical and 50... No, nah, maybe not 50 physical. Maybe like 25, 25, I don't know. Nope. Okay, plus eight bleed stacks is insane. <laughs> that is crazy. I don't think I'm going back here. I don't think there's a quest there. Oh, there's no destruction. Yeah, I'll just go event. Speak with the counselor. Wait, who's the counselor? Is that, isn't that in the... It's back in the... Um, Dinium, right? I still don't know how to do this, and then Magma Miner. We'll do Magma Miner next time. Cheese cards? Oh, I already did that. Wait. Return to the Chronicler and Radiant Market. Oh. Whoops, is that the Chronicler? I think that was the Chronicler. Uh, okay. Whoopsie. That's okay. This is always trash. I don't want this. Damn, that was the Chronicler. Why did it not appear here? There's not a single return to, to Chronicler. Was that right? Oh, wait. Wait, where was that quest? Where's the return to Chronicler? Oh, it's here. Oh, maximum quest track. Ah. Uh, okay, I do want. I do not want to track this. This is just defeat five villains. Ah, uh, damn it. So because it was not showing up, I just did not. I mean, I just assumed I didn't have anything. And that event is so trash. If you have stuff. Yeah, we have plus 70 physics. Well, how much does this give me? I mean, I guess by this point, I wish it told you exactly how much this gave me. Because I don't know. I don't, I know I have four physical, so it's 20. Yeah, it's 50 magic, 20, so it's 70 total. That's pretty good. It's not done. I have to open with it. Damage output is disgusting. Oh, I forgot that would turn to me. <laughs> eh. 
one damage is one damage, whatever. You can heal it up. Hopefully. Why are they sharing damage? Do I have a thing that shares damage? I don't get it. How are they taking damage? Not sure. Okay. Mm. I'll just do this. Oh, it's not quite... Well, I guess it doesn't matter if it kills or not. I can just kill naturally with this. <laughs> this character is so fun. I love it. This is how it's supposed to feel. Unlike the last run. Probably just one shot it. I don't really understand why it's taking 100. There's got to be something I'm not seeing here. Why is it spreading damage, but I don't have shock? Do I? Hmm. I don't know. There's something I'm missing, but it's not a huge deal. Wow, that damage output is disgusting. Brian, the talking book. Oh, we got, we got this. On your first turn, Byron will grant you. Oh wait, how do I get this? Oh, oh, I get it. I get it now. It gives me a curio that is part of this set. Okay, on your first turn, Byron will grant you words of encouragement and a random buff. Holy yet. Oh, and we got Mythos as well. I'm down to remove this, I think. It's probably the least good thing I have. Wow, this is nonsense. Dazed in Mark and gain one stack of Precise, 100 crit damage per stack on critting, lose all stacks. Resistant and Blur. That is kind of insane. Okay, I think we're good on damage. I just take Smoke Screen. Like, that is a nonsense damage reduction. On critting, gain shield. On hitting, 30% chance to inflict. Now, this is insane. Although the second part of this is pretty bad, but yeah, I'm very much into that. And we do have two mythos, right? So return the impaled pure spear with 30 physical damage and pull it out. Excuse me? Excuse me, what? I, mean, I want to remove this, but wait. Spear of the Gods. Is that. Did I. I don't understand. Wait, wait, let's see. Tune in. It's aspects, right? Yeah. Return the Impaled Pure Spear with 30 physical damage and pull it out. So I need. Is this the icon for physical damage increase? Yeah, it is. Okay. Wait, it is, right? Yeah, it is, it is. So, I have to go to the silent promenade? Was that? Oh no, is it training room? What's the, um... Proving grounds, I need to go proving grounds. Yeah. So this doesn't matter anymore. Targets all enemies, what the hell? When used with combo, no. Minus one will cost is actually fine. I still don't think it's that good, but... I mean, minus one will is plus one runic strike, so... That's an absolute yes. Destroy... Destroy is good. I'm using a binding... Wait, I didn't see this. When did I get this? Oh, I picked it up with the curios thing. 
I'm using a binding deal of 63 damage to the nearest enemy. I don't like this too much. I'm actually gonna trade that. And this has mark too, so. Now we have a three mark. You inflict additional damage equal to 30%. Am I destroying this? What, what is this? Five? A hundred percent? Damn, that's pretty clutch. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna destroy it. I'm gonna destroy this. Goodbye. So we have the treasure pot thing as well, which is maybe irrelevant. Oh, also, wait. This is useless. What the hell am I... <laughs> I have Omni damage now. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Wait, I don't have Omni damage. Not yet. Soon, soon, soon. Oh, this build is cracked, though. This build is insane. Alright, you're marked. You're dead. Well, not dead, but... Yeah, definitely not dead. Ah, yeah, still. Wait, it's marked again? Holy shit. And it should open with this, because it... Oh my god, it's marking again. <laughs> Wait, this is nonsense. Actually, you can just keep auto-attacking. I don't want to utilize the... I want to utilize the orb, and I'm taking... Wait, I'm taking zero? Oh yeah, I have shield from this. Cool. And everything's kind of weakened. Hit the pot. Oh yeah, and I have resistant. Oh yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> this is nonsense. Alright, you're attacking me directly, you're attacking me directly. You are fleeing next turn. I mean, I don't really care that much about damage, so... Not that much damage, I just keep hitting this. Just punching them in the face. This, is, this character is so cool, man. I love it. It's probably my favorite character so far. That or the orb, but I just think this is such a relaxing kind of game plan. Full melee, full kind of burst damage. It has a lot of synergy with a lot of stuff. Holy shit. Okay, this is problematic. Oh, wait, I didn't even get. I forgot to resistant. I need to be inside the thing, right? Oh, I have plus, plus five shielding. I didn't see that. Okay. All right. Do you have combo? Yeah, I do. Not enough, though. Okay, wait. My damage output is not that good. Hold up. That's good at least. Everybody's dazed. Everybody get up. Who's how did they get they oh yeah they got dazed from the bomb. I'll just hit this guy. Highest HP. At least to get some bleed value. I'm only taking one. The five shielding every turn is kind of insane. Yeah, I guess my damage output could still use a little bit of work, maybe. Just a little bit. I can blight everywhere. How is this even possible? I don't think I can hit that. It's in the blight. I gotta get a resistance here. I mean, actually, no, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, once we stack the damage, we have... I mean, right now, 135, 180. <laughs> I 
I just need, okay. Yeah, this character, when you have stuff like that, I just need mana efficiency. I need, I wish I had more mana, but I don't. Just the, the AoE is not that much damage. It's not dead. Not like this. Yeah, I need mana. If, if, if I had like more reserve mana, if I had like more orbs, if I had... There are a lot of things I could do here that would help me tremendously. At least deal with one of these, right? Oh, with the with the mark, I could probably do this. Okay, the thirty percent chance to apply mark is nonsense. Super good. Wow. Build is good. Pocket watch. Oh, I picked it up. Okay. I don't know if I think this is good or not. I mean, obviously, if I get if I get a bunch of talking books, then sure. <laughs> that's really the only thing that's, that I think is really good. No, no, no. Maybe. Oh, whoa. Maybe. And again, I'm not using this too often. I mean, it's either could be smoke bomb. The damage is kind of relevant. Kind of. Is it though? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. I hate this. I, I don't understand this. Okay. Um, pulse damage is fine. Hmm. Nothing, right? I'd rather just hold on to this and wait, what? No, no, I need to find something I want to destroy. I think that's probably the, the play here. Maybe it is this. No, it probably, no, it wouldn't be that either. It wouldn't be this either. I, I don't know. This is weird. I don't want this though. What do I want over that? Maybe this? Smite enemies? No, it's nothing. It's all useless. But at least this would give me Bastion. And if I do destroy it, I can get... Yeah, I'm probably destroying here. I can just cap the Bastion. Or, I destroy a Marked. And then that way, I have the extra... 100%. I also would have the extra crit chance, which is kind of good. Or I just go with what I originally said. Oh no, wait, we have potential Omni- No, didn't I say how to destroy this? Yeah. It's shocked every turn, right? Oh no, first turn only. Uh, It would have to be three for me to think this is actually good. Because otherwise, Starwalker is not good at all. I'm probably just- I should have dropped this. This was a mistake. I should have dropped that. None of this is good. Just because Starwalker is useless for me. I can see this. I already have chances of applying marked anyways. Let's just do that. And that's a nope. Should be able to like semi speed run this run. Leaky pen is not good because we have one damage taken on orb collection. More mana though. Well, this is not more mana, but I'm saying, like, if I find more synergy, maybe... On your first turn... I could take this, work towards Wisdom, but we're kind of far from that. 
It still gives me a discount though. This is definitely worth considering and taking probably. Sure, I mean, I, I hate this spell anyway, so whatever. I don't hate it actually, it's good, it's good. It's good. Bluefish? Nope. Jelly? Nope. God, Soul Shed is what I died to last time, but I think we're good here. I hope I have enough damage for this. My assumption is the that I do. Okay, never mind. I have so much damage. Uh, my damage is uh, ridiculous, so... Ole, ole mole. I could just kill it, but I also I want to apply this on the boss. Wow. Okay, we are definitely doing that. And then I'll just smack the boss. Mm, I could take advantage of this. Yeah, I'm just gonna... it's all the thing is it's always worth taking the. Orb, because I get an extra runic strike. That's the quality of life for this character. That is tremendously close to popping that, but it will now, right? Yep. I mean... I don't care about taking damage here. I can run out, okay. <laughs> I can just run out. Right, perfect timing for this. I'll wait a little bit here. Wait a minute, I wonder if this consumes my combo. It's already at zero. I think it will. I kind of want to test it out. Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm just curious. Alright. That's fine. <laughs> I, I love this character so much. It makes me happy. It's just run around, punch enemies in the face. I, I love, I actually do like Invius Fist. I think the the displacement is nice and the, you know, especially the displacement. I think it's mostly just because it pushes and I think that's really good. Eruption is a skill I thought I was going to like a lot, but I actually don't like it. I think it's really awkward. Okay, wow. Yeah, the Giga Mark is insane. Forge request on your on your turn, your first attack finding deals double. Hmm. Eh. Be better than this. Probably. The thing is, usually I'm punching first, or or I want to punch first, so it's not it's not that good. Uh, this is one of the weaker effects. I think the force shielding is probably more relevant in case I do end up dying or something. Or, like, end up taking a bunch of damage. Over here. I want to upgrade the punch. Not eruption. Deals triple damage to either physical or magic damage, depending on which bonus is higher. Well, this will be magic damage. I guess this does a lot more damage now. Maybe I do like this now. Uh, I have decent single target, so... I don't hate this. I think this is actually not bad. I would probably rather want to up... Yeah, I would rather upgrade Runic Strike, right? Let me just check real quick. Because I can see the uh, upgrades here. It would be... Purely... F uh, wait, what? Oh, bonus damage based on teleport. Additional stat... Oh, this, is, this is nonsense. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, I'm going, I'm going for it. Oh, I can't reroll. Oh, whatever, this is fine. 30 poison. If enemy is above 50%, inflict poison. If enemy is below, inflict additional physical. You know what? I don't hate that. 
Right, we are cooking right now. This is the fastest run so far, too. This is definitely very strong. Definitely, this is the run that is making me realize how important it is to have damage over anything defensive. It does make me a little bit sad because I I feel like the game is disincentivizing you from going like a pure turtle build, which would be kind of cool, I guess. Like, it feels like it's kind of limiting. Other than spiked, I guess. Spiked is a good mechanic for defensive stuff, but there's not that many things that do spiked in most builds. You just gotta go for damage. Alright. Shatter, shatter. Okay, that is a decent amount of damage, actually. Holy moly. And that is dead. <laughs> and that is dead. I do not have the mana. I gotta go get it. Does that mean I should... I should do this first. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to use the free. <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't matter. Damn, that damage is nonsense. Well, taking a little bit of damage. Eh. The mana usage is what's it's capping me out, basically. Just the mana. Wow. It's the most I can kill here. Well, the thing is, these are attacking me. I know that. So, ideally, I'd want to hit these guys. Can I hit all of them? Pretty close. That's like pixels off. Oh, it's so close. I don't think I can. If I get closer, it's worse. But right? the only way I can do it is getting further. I mean, that kind of works. so funny. <laughs> I just, I, I'm underestimating the amount of damage this does after I get all the the boost. It's really the Heavenly Eclipse is nonsense in this build. This is the best item you can get by far in this uh, in a, uh, with this character I think. It's not even close. It's just absolutely crazy. The damage amp is nonsense. I'm, I'm basically getting 40% damage amp on every hit. Well, only for this thing, but well, this is like half. Yeah, I mean, it's half. I don't know. Gaze. On being hit, smite this enemy, lost on... Excuse me? Isn't this insane? But again, I'm, I'm looking for mana, but this does not generate mana at all. I think this is pretty good. 100 Omni damage, but... Okay, it's good, but it's also... Well, that's good. It's better than this, I think. 50 damage, 50... Yeah, it's 100, it's 100, actually. 100 damage, 100 damage, or 100 Omni damage. I think 100 Omni is just better. The Hex Shatter is cool. The fact that it's random is worse than 100 Omni, I think, yeah. The problem is I can't spend money now. Oh my goodness. And we gotta get towards... Combat and hatches. Okay, I don't care. Yeah, this is nuts. And I can destroy this and get to plus one mana. That's huge. So this is useless now. And I knew it was useless already. Anything else? Honestly, this is kind of useless. I can replace that with something. Probably not defense matrix. What is this? Pocket watch. 
Don't like it. Don't like that. Well, then again, it is 5% crit chance, and it does... Blur is pretty useful, yeah. Eh, yeah, why not? Alright, is this the last zone? I think it is. Cannot spend that much money, though. Okay, wait. Well... I don't know. I feel like I have to spend money, actually. I might... Maybe it was not worth taking this, because I... I have to destroy this, so that means I need a replacement. This is pretty good. Prey. On being defeated, player who defeats gain one stack of prey. Devout prey. Eh. Then again, I could just not buy anything and get take the 100 on me. This, ha this has to go, though. Is 100 Omni damage better than me buying... I don't think it... Ah, it might be. It might be. I guess I can roll, because I don't want any of this. Maybe this, but... Yeah, maybe... Maybe... It's good. But it's not, like, crazy crazy. I mean, this is broken, but... Uh, I, just, I think the 100% is better. Well, then again, this is more defense. I think we're good on offense, right? I think we're good on offense and defense. Oh yeah, we are good on defense, 100%. I might just keep the 100 Omni damage. I think it's just better. Wait, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> Hold up, why did I not- Okay, curios are actually good then. Okay, if this can pop as well on top of the book. This is nasty. You know what? If I buy this plus this, that's better than 100 Omni damage, so... That way. Goodbye. I can destroy that, I guess. What does it give me? Nothing. Screw it. Useless item. Should not have taken it. I underestimated how good the last shop would be. Alright, here we go. Yeah, the cost reduction is disgusting because that's so many more combo. combo slash shatter slash shield. Alright, you can probably pop the bird on turn one. Oh shit, I should not pop the combo. Oh no, I can't. I can just do it. I can use it on this. Does the bird move? That's a really good question. Nah, I can just keep punching here. I'll just do this. Uh, I guess I don't have infinite. I have to be careful here. I'm taking zero, I don't give a shit. Oh, it's popped. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, everything's not zero. I can probably pop it this turn as well. Oh, wait. Eh. Do I care? Maybe. I probably don't care, just do this. I should probably grab the other orb. Because I'm probably not moving back here. Although I need to cooldown reduction. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, is it taking less damage from somewhere? I feel like it's not taking any damage. This is nonsense. What the hell? Holy. Oh, I didn't want to cast that. I was just looking and I accidentally clicked. Uh, eh. Just kill one of these then.
I'm taking zero. I'm just... That's my bad. I was trying to like see what angle I could hit with that, and I just <laughs> jokes. Okay, we're at six stacks. Don't really care. Gotta make sure I pop the. I need the the mark. Okay, wait. I need to do this first. Damn, I'm wasting combo. The problem is now my actually my reduction is too much now. It's just not doing anything. There's a mark. Yeah, I just pop it. I didn't bother with this, so I just keep punching, I guess, probably. Save that. I have so much shield. Did the book give me shielding again? Yeah, it did. Okay. I would rather have the damage or the mana, but eh. Can't get everything. Right, let's open with this so I can grab the orb. Yeah, this bomb is just disgusting. It's so good. I can keep punching here. Well, it's kind of wasting the stacks, but no, it affects the cooldown. Just more damage. But it's, not, it's not that much more damage. But I'm taking zero. I <laughs> just it's so dumb. I just need to find one mark, and it's dead. There we go. Goodbye. Yeah, this spell is nonsense. Everything, everything about this is amazing. Like, the, these were super good. This is fantastic. I didn't know this item before. Actually, I think we just unlocked that. That's a new one. That This thing is insane. This was not necessary, I think. Eh, it was fine. No, it was it was good. It's just, like, I'm kind of wasting the will, will reduction on the combo, but at the same time, it's reducing the cooldown, so it's not like it's... It's not like it's doing nothing. It's still reducing a little bit, and then, but these were both zero anyways. Well, I guess this was not zero. This was one going to zero. This is always zero, and then a free. No, it was good. This was fine. I didn't need it, but sure. The book was insane. I think <laughs> the book was. It's kind of like sitting in the background doing like kind of crazy stuff. So that makes curios a lot better than I originally thought because you can get this which is insane you can get this which is insane i'm sure there are, actually we can check right now before we before we leave here just unlock a few things there's the book okay season we got the on collecting an orb gain omni damage to end of combat that's pretty good we got a cosmetic i don't know what that is i didn't read it on being hit without losing hp your next attack binding deals double damage eh Border. All right, let me check Curios. On your turn, roll a random number between 1 and 20. This vestige gains a stat based on the number rolled. Gains a stat? What the hell does that mean? Oh. Oh. Nothing. 10 physical, 10 magical, 10 omni, 20. Oh, it gains. Oh, this is nuts early game. Okay. That's kind of crazy, actually. Wait, on your turn? Wait, this is insane. This is nonsense. If you get this early, the thing scales out of control. Super, this is perfect for that character to the... What is it? Chainbreaker? On your first turn, gain a random disassembly prototype. 120 physical, 120. This is again... Okay, so Curios is designed or like is best on a character that uses both physical and magic damage, so it's 100%. That character just uses a lot of really weird relics super well. I mean, this is insane. Uh, we know this, this is honestly, this is really good. This is really good too. Uh, the pen is good. The, eh, fine, no, good. Insane, actually. What the hell is this? <laughs> what the? 
it's locked, so we don't have it. On your turn, your bindings will cost two less will until the first one's used. Meh. Actually, no, that's really good, but like, eh. Kind of unexciting. On defeating enemy, gain a small amount of quillings. Eh. Good early game, obviously, but... It's kind of hard to set up the four curios, though. You basically have to destroy them. Eh. Okay, wow, Curious is really good actually. <laughs> if you depending on when you get it, and you have to the problem is you have to like prioritize destroying them early. So you gotta get two, you gotta destroy two, and then you're good to go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Ton of fun playing this run. Uh, much better than the last run. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.